get down here. Hi makeup geeks. Today's look is going to be just a beautiful bronzy, summery look, very natural, something you can wear every day, and has just a little pop of color so it's not this boring look that you wear every single day. And so this is what I came up with. So if you like this look and want to try it out, keep watching. So I already have my Soft Ochre Paint Pot Primer on um, to prepare the eyeshadows to stick to the lid. Um, the palette I'm going to use today is the Urban Decay Book of Shadows, and I just pulled it out of the whole palette. It's just easy for me to access. And I'm just going to use two colors today, Baked and Smog. And these are some really great neutral colors um, that are very summery looking because they're very bronzy goldy. I'm going to take a flat shader brush and the color Baked, and we're going to put this all over the lid, staying under the crease, and just pat, pat, pat all on that base. This look is really easy, and you can always do, you know, just a couple steps, and it'll still look good. Then from there, I'm going to take a stiff dome brush. And for me, I use Max 217, but if you have smaller eyes, use something that's, you know, dome-shaped, a little bit stiff maybe a little smaller. I'm going in with the color Smug, and that's that one, so that's on the lid. There's the outer part of the eye. And we're going to put this just on the outer part of the eye out here, and just kind of do circle motions, feather it in. And then if you want, you can come up in the crease a bit, but if you have smaller eyes, I wouldn't. I would just stay out here. And just leave that nice dark brown color there. Then what you can do is take a fluffy brush like this and use a color as a highlight, something that's not shimmery close to your skin tone, and for me it's going to be Max Vanilla. I know I say this all the time, so sorry guys. Just going to apply this under the brow bone and blend it out. Now if you notice, since I have a lot of space here, I almost need a fourth color to kind of blend that out. But if you have smaller eyes, you don't have quite as much space here, those three would be fine and this would look good on you. But for me, I need an extra one. So my blender color, I'm going to use something that's kind of a tannish color and it's not shimmery either. This is Max Kid Eyeshadow. I'm using that same blender brush, the dome one. And I'm going to put this right in the crease and this automatically softens that line there. I'm just doing windshield wiper motions like this. Super, super easy. Now, if you want a little pop of shimmer, what you can do is take this, wipe it off really well, and you could even go in with Midnight Cowboy, that kind of very pale pink, really shimmery, glittery shadow, and put just a bit here near the tear duct. And you could also put just a teeny bit right under that highest point of the arch. I would actually use a flat brush for right there. But just a warning, that Midnight Cowboy is pretty sure it's uh, glittery, so just be careful with it. Then from there, you can smudge a little bit of shadow under here if you want. I'm going to because I have, um, you know, a lot of space up under here, but if you have smaller eyes, don't you don't have to smudge it. But I'm going to take um, Bait, the one I put on the lid, and put that all under the lower lash line. And then I'll wipe it off and take a little bit of that last or um, smog and smudge this just on the outer part of the eye. And then if you get any fallout in here, all you have to do is take your fluffy dome brush, that one there, and just kind of sweep it away. If you need to rub it, go ahead and do that. And that's it for the shadows. Really easy. You don't even have to do all those steps. You can just do lid, outer part, and then you know, blend some highlight there and you're good to go. Now for the pop of color to make this interesting. I found these, um, this cosmetic company a long time ago and I contacted them and asked if they could send me a couple um, eyeliners because they're really pretty. It's called Christina Lynn Cosmetics and I'll put that um, in the link in the sidebar so you can check that out. But this color is called Peacock and it's a beautiful teal color. Really, really gorgeous. I like that. So take your Sonia Kashuk Angled Liner Brush and dip it in there. And we're just going to line the upper lash line with that. So what you need to do is pull on your lid just a bit. And I like to start in the outer part of the eye, maybe about halfway. And get that stroke going. 
And then with what's left in the brush, I work my way inwards. And I generally stop where my eyelashes stop. So it's usually about right in there. But if you have like really big round eyes, you can go all the way in. If your eyes are small, maybe stop halfway. And then what I like to do is make the liner thicker as it goes out. It kind of lifts your eyes. So just add a bit more product up here. Kind of bring it up and thicken it. And you have a nice pop of teal in there. And you can wear this look every day and all you have to do is switch out the eyeliner for different colors and you have, you know, a look for every day of the week. You could do a purple liner, a blue, a, you know, pure green. So from there, I'm just going to apply my mascara, come back, and we'll do the lips. I'm going to line my lips with the Ginger Root um, Lip Liner by MAC. And this is a really pretty, kind of nude, peachy color. It's pretty close to my natural lip color, so it's really good neutral for me. And I'm just going to outline the lips. And just rub it on the side to get a little bit of color on the lips, just like that. Then I'm going to wear NYX's T-Rose Lipstick. This is a really pretty kind of nudie pink color, so I'm just going to apply that. Just for a little pop of color. And that completes the look. <laughs> so hopefully you guys had fun with that. Let me get into so you can see. Just a really bronzy kind of natural look with just a little pop of that teal. And then, you know, nice medium color lips, a little bit of blush, you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully um, it's easy enough that you can do it for everyday look. Just something that's very polished, very classy, but still a little fun. So thanks for watching. Check out the side link for everything listed. Talk to you later. Bye. Um.